50 years after the first Sputnik arrived, space is a very busy place. You never know who you'll find. Who's that? Is it a Russian cosmonaut? A Chinese Yuhangyuan? An American astronaut? No, it's Malaysia's first Angasawan. He's Dr. Sheikh Muzaffar Shukur, proudly flying the Malaysian stripes of glory. Dan insyaAllah akan melahirkan lebih ramai angkasawan di, di masa akan datang. The deal that launched Malaysia, a developing nation, into the heavens was done back here, on Earth. When Malaysia spent billions of dollars on 18 Russian Sukhoi jet fighters, Moscow gave Malaysia a free ride into space, a slice of glory. You know, the very fact that I was part and parcel of the whole plan to send somebody to space, first Malaysian to space, and see it happening, was such a moving experience. But who to send? After a three-year rigorous nationwide quest, Dr. Sheikh Muzaffar Shukur emerged with the right stuff. Alpha male with movie star good looks, he beat 11,424 wannabes. I only sleep about three to four hours every day for the past five years because I do feel that sleeping is a waste of time. That's the only time I feel that I can manage my time. No wonder. He's an orthopaedic surgeon, a restaurateur, a part-time model, and in his spare time, he's done voluntary work in Afghanistan and Cambodia. Now add to that, Angkasawan. It's a very high-risk profession. We have been trained to become fearless, not to be afraid of anything. I remember I used to be afraid of heights. Fear of heights? You can't get higher than space. <laughs> but I did overcome my fear of heights. <laughs> And then he mastered Russian, the fundamentals of space, and took a giant leap for Malaysia. The crew of uh, Expedition 16, the ISS, is ready for work. I wish you success in your work. In Dr. Sheikh's case, it's finding a cure for cancer experimenting with live cancer cells in the cosmos. Back on Earth, Dr. Sheikh is a role model for aspiring space travellers. Congratulations for making mission, mission people proud. <laughs> Not just Malaysians, but Muslims the world over. It took more than a hundred religious scholars two days to agree on the rules of Islam in space. They even published a book. And it's very interesting because no one knows how to pray in space because no one has done it before. Every 45 minutes the sun goes up, every 45 minutes the sun goes down and by right you have to pray 80 times a day which confused many people, many Islamic scholars on earth. In space, Dr. Sheikh became the poster boy of progressive Islam. It's not a handicap, uh, the fact that he's also quite good-looking as a person. 
So he had he has the charisma and 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 being the first Malaysian into space, this has uh, been a, a, a great uh, success story and role model for especially for the young people. Na, na, na. From the spaceship Soyuz to Malaysia's national car, the Proton, and Dr. Sheikh's earthly mission is to be the pin-up boy for science. <laughs> and if anyone can sell science, it's Dr. Sheikh. <laughs> and to keep his mind on the job, a government contract which forbids him from marrying for two years. <laughs> to an audience of a thousand veils, Dr. Sheikh harks back to a time in history when Islamic science and astronomy led the way. But nowadays we are more way back which is, has been conquered by the Westerns, by, by other countries. So I do hope that, that as a Muslim could lead these Muslim scientists, scholars and intellectuals to bring back the glory of Islam to the world. You have to master your English in order to compete with the rest of the world. If you want to succeed in life, if you want to challenge the Americans, the Western, you must be fluent in English. <laughs> Malaysia's space program, started by Dr Mahathir, has been grounded for lack of funds. But Dr Sheikh is looking for liftoff. Whoever conquers space will conquer the world, like the Russians, the Americans, and now the Chinese, the Indians, they're all competing among each other because the benefits of space program will help the whole entire nation. He's a veteran of 30 television commercials, catwalk shows and magazine covers. Saya berharap dapat menjadikan contoh untuk kanak-kanak berjaya di dalam hidup mereka. Inilah destiny saya. Now he must also be a careers counsellor. <laughs> On state television, orphans are about to meet their favourite celebrity and then be put on the right path. Ah, ah. 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 Saya ada buat iklan model, eh, modelling selama dua tahun eh, tapi itu hanyalah sebagai sampingan sahaja eh. Nasihat saya kepada adik, walaupun nak jadi model itu hanyalah sampingan, tapi tumpukan pelajaran-pelajaran sains, tumpukan pelajaran matematik kalau boleh jadi doktor, jadi saintis, jadi aerospace engineer supaya dapat boleh menyumbangkan kepada aerospace angkasa. His feet may now be firmly on the ground, but Dr. Sheikh is still reaching for the stars. His next challenge is to get his pilot's license and work in Africa. Oh, and maybe one more thing. <laughs> well, I'm very interested in politics at a very young age. I've met many politicians out there who made changes to the world, to the community. And I think being a politician is an outlet to make your voice heard. If politics is a way to make changes, why not? Thank you.